The International Space Station has long been used as an Earth observing platform, but a new tool will be heading to the space station next year to study something important to all of us, the Earth's ozone. My colleague Lori Miggs at the Marshall Space Flight Center caught up with the Mission Operations Manager at Langley Research Center to learn more. SAGE-3 is actually monitoring the changes in the ozone, and the ozone is very important to us because it's used as pretty much a sunscreen for the Earth. Um, and it has been depleting, um, and it is starting to recover. So SAGE-3 has been monitoring the ozone since 1979, so we've had an amazing record of this. Um, of the changes of the ozone. And the ozone is so important because, like I said, it is a sunscreen kind of for the earth and it protects us and without that we get harmful to the crops, harmful to humans, we get larger instances of cataracts, of cancer. So to be able to monitor and see the changes in the ozone is beneficial for humans um, all around. ISS is great for us because of its orbit. We actually get to monitor um, different latitudes and different longitudes uh, due to its orbit. So we can monitor all the way up to about 76 degrees in latitude and longitude. And so it gives us a really nice sampling in the whole Earth on a yearly, daily, monthly basis. So what up until the launch point? What are we doing now? Still just more testing until we get ready to launch? We are still doing more testing um, and we are starting to actually put all these we have several different kind of experiments and instruments on this payload. We have a contamination monitoring package, which will be able to tell us how kind of dirty the atmosphere in the area of ISS is as launch vehicles come and dock and undock. They have plumes. So we'll be able to characterize that and make sure that if it gets too much contamination, we can actually stow the instrument. So we have a contamination monitoring package. We have a disturbance monitoring package, which actually, you know, if ISS is very big and kind of, you know, fluctuates depending on thermal environments, the astronauts themselves walking about or pushing about. So that tells us also if, you know, if there's too much disturbance, we not, may not be able to use that data. And then we have several other um, computers. So we're now putting all of these small computers, all these small instruments, all putting them onto the same pallet, and then we'll do the same environmental testing again of making sure the whole entire system can withstand the launch and the space environment.